file photo, Minardi Formula One team boss Paul Stoddart of Australia reacts during a news conference in Sydney March 15, 2005. Reuters, Tim Wimbor on July 30, 2017 by Alan Baldwin Budapest, Reuters, former Minardi team owner Paul Stoddart is back in Formula One and making a big noise again. The Australian aviation entrepreneur, whose popular Italy-based outfit became Tour Rosso after he sold it to Red Bull in 2005, is now running what he fondly refers to as the sport's 11th team. The 62-year-old has brought his two-seater cars to the track as part of the new F1 Experiences program, allowing passengers to taste some of the speed enjoyed by the likes of Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. Operating at selected races this season, from a garage at the end of the pit lane, the cars are a throwback to a bygone era with their raucous V10 Cosworth engines and slimmer tires. But next year, with redesigned chassis penned by former F1 team technical head Mike Gascoigne, they will be a feature at every race. The fuel tanks will be smaller, to allow more bum room for passengers, but the same specification pre-turbo era V10 engines, with 15 brand new ones ordered, will be retained. Not in a million years did I think I'd be back, Stoddard told Reuters at the Hungarian Grand Prix, unwinding in what was the Manor team's motorhome. The trouble is, once you come back it's such a drug. You're addicted to it, and now I'm loving it, even though I'm back doing seven days a week. A whirlwind of energy, helping passengers settle in and loving the smiles and high fives as they step out after the ride of a lifetime, Stoddard lit up one of many daily cigarettes and reflected on his new project. He has run two-seaters at his home race in Melbourne for a decade, there you're splitting whale a familiar sound to Albert Park visitors, and with champ cars in the Americas in 2007, but it took a change of ownership in the sport for the next step. Liberty Media, who completed their takeover of Formula One in January and ousted former Supremo Bernie Ecclestones, wasted no time. We agreed we were going to do it as a trial in Austin and Mexico, we were ready for that no problem. Then I got a phone call on the Tuesday after China to say, can you be in Barcelona, Ray called start. I just said yes and then afterwards I thought, oh my god, I've got no motorhomes and we sold all the garage kit years ago. And I was determined that I wouldn't do this unless I could do it as the 11th team, properly. Schumacher Drive Start, whose European aviation business operates out of Bournemouth on England's south coast, swung into action. He bought garage equipment, support trucks and motorhome from Manor's liquidators before a scheduled auction and set to work. I had to kick a Boeing 737 out of my paint shop in Bournemouth, as it's the only place I could have painted these things in time, he smiled. That's why they've got this lovely paint job on them because it's BBJ, Boeing Business Jet White, a little bit more expensive than truck paint. And we made it happen. There's a lot of familiar faces and of course since this has been happening, a lot of my people have come back, added the Australian of his 53-strong team. The cars have been driven over the years by eight world champions, including Ferrari great Michael Schumacher who gave his